Hey guys, Glenn Ocean here. In this video I wanted to talk to you about one specific topic, one phenomenon that happens in kitesurfing, and it's a foul hookup. Oh, sorry, no, hookup would be on a different channel. Foul hooking. And what I'm talking about is the hooking of a chicken loop, chicken pin to your harness, to your, to your spreader bar. Uh, in the video we're going to talk about what it is, and uh, we'll talk about why is it happening, and we'll talk about how to possibly fix it, or at least to reduce the risk or chance of happening. So what kind of thing is this? Let me give you like the big scenario what might have happened to you as well. I know it happened to me a number of times, I just didn't know that thing has a title, I didn't know the thing has a name, but it does. So imagine that uh, you're setting up your kite and uh, you're about to launch it, so you're connecting yourself to your kite with three things, right? The, you need to do three things. You need to connect the safety leash, you have to hook the chicken loop to the, uh, to the hook, and you have to drive the chicken pin through the hook as well. So you have a vivid recollection of doing that. And maybe it's almost an automatic, an autopilot is happening to you, but you remember doing that. And then when you go for a ride, uh, at some point your kite may snap away. Something happens, boom, it gets disconnected from you and the kite flies away as if one of these components broke. And the only thing that connects you to the kite is the safety leash. So you recover the kite and when you examine your chicken loop and chicken pin, nothing is wrong with them. Nothing is wrong except for the chicken pin is on the other side of the chicken loop. Right, so the, the chicken loop is, it's, is intact, it's not broken, you didn't engage the safety release, so it's not, it's not activated, and the chicken pin is not broken. So what is going on? Uh, when you connect um, your kite with the chicken loop and chicken pin, because it's a hook over here, you see the spreader bar has a hook, the idea is that the lines, kite lines, have to have a consistent tension in them. But as soon as you create a bit of a slack, in the, in the center lines over here, then this phenomenon, of, uh, phenomenon may happen. So let's take a look. If I slack a little bit over here, see the chicken loop comes out from the hook and it seems like it's still secured by the pin, but is it? So let's take a look. If I twist the, 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 the loop a little bit and you see it comes out from the hook and now if the tension is back, you see the chicken loop is not engaged with a, with a hook anymore. And if I pull hard enough, boom, that's what happens, okay? And the only thing that connects you to the guide is, uh, is a safety leash, if you remember to connect it. I know, I forget this every now and then. And you see now the chicken pin is on the opposite side. Here's a close-up on what's happening, guys. So, you see, right now the chicken loop is connected, chicken pin is inserted, everything sounds solid and bulletproof, if you will. And uh, as soon as I start giving a slack, a little bit of a slack on the center lines and uh, the chicken loop is moving towards the spreader bar, see, the further it moves, the easier it becomes to get it out of the chicken, of the hook. And uh, you see, right now it's fully out. And the only thing that holds it there is the, the rest of the uh, chicken pin. Okay, and as soon as that pin snaps, either it flexes or breaks, the, the whole chicken loop comes out and disconnects from you. Boom. Now, why is it happening? Why, 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 would, you make a, why would you create a slack in, uh, in a kite lines? A number of reasons. Uh, I have five. Well, first one is uh, when you're setting up your kite and uh, you're connecting to it, you're connecting to the chicken pin and chicken loop, and may, you may be still walking around and you're kind of checking your gear, maybe you're taking some, uh, something out of the way uh, with your kite, and uh, this is where you create a slack. Another case, uh, maybe the kite is up in the air and the wind lull came in, so it created a little bit of a slack. Maybe you dropped the kite altogether on the water and you swam for some period of time with no tension in your kite lines. It may happen. Uh, the next part is maybe you took a jump and you forgot to bring the kite back to where, where it's supposed to be. So it also created a bit of a slack. It may be still up in the air, but uh, there was a slack. And uh, the most common scenario is when you're actually pulling on a control bar, when you're powering up your kite, you want to create more power, and I cannot pull on this one because it's, it's kind of fixed. So what happens is you keep pulling and pulling and pulling, it hits the stopper over here, but you keep pulling, and it creates the same slack. I don't care about the center lines to balance with you, it's more the chicken loop, and you see it came out from the hook. 
if you keep pulling on it, whatever it is you do, you need more power, you're pressing that on that pedal, on the gas pedal, and boom. This is, this is a recipe for uh, full hooking. <laughs> so, again, what's happening, the chicken loop may come out from the hook, and uh, when the kite loads up again, it pulls, it doesn't have to, be, it doesn't have to pull hard, see, because uh, the, the normal pull is designed for the metal hook, and if it's not engaged anymore, then the only thing that's holding you connected to the kite is the chicken pin, and boom, gets disconnected. So how do we fix this? How do we make sure that it doesn't happen to us? Well, there are several suggestions I can, I can recommend. Uh, the first one is really mental. You see, we take this connection for granted. We think that it's bulletproof. They th they, we think that it's, it's forever. It's 100% protecting us or connecting us to the kite. But is it? So we kind of forget about it. We neglect the situation, what's happening over here, because there is a lot going on, especially if you're new to kite surfing, you know the list of you know, what things that you need to check or keep in check is really long. Yet this is another one. This is yet another checkpoint that should be on your list. So what I, what I recommend you to do is uh, kind of an old school advice. This is the, the kind of recommendation that comes with the danger. Uh, <laughs> if you try, I, I want you to be responsible fully for the outcome. But uh, what helped me to realize, to pay attention to this, is in old days, we didn't have the chicken pin. Old days, chicken loops, they didn't have the pin in the middle. So <laughs> what I'm saying is hook up, but do not engage the chicken pin. Okay, do not drive it through the chicken, through the hook over here, and uh, this will create another focal point for your mind to pay attention to what is going on over here, okay? Now, it's not really a serious advice, but um, so if you're paying attention to the state it is in, then it's going to help you big time. Another advice you see, like, especially if, you, if you're dealing with an older kite, this is an older kite, older, older system, the chicken pin is actually flexible. And uh, there is an opening in the middle, I mean, it's a pipe, so you can insert something in here. What can you insert? If it's a piece of plastic, like a fiber, then it may still snap. Uh, another thing you can insert, it could be a metal, and the metal could be either aluminum or a stainless steel, so it, they will not corrode. In any case, they will make the entire system heavier, and, uh, uh, you know, the, the control bar and uh, th this system, uh, they float, they're supposed to float. They're supposed to stay afloat even if you disconnect from them. So be mindful about the weight you're adding to the entire system. Of course, it's not going to uh, submerge the entire system, but just, you know, pay attention to it. Some of the systems have nice buoyancy, some systems are not, so keep this in mind. And uh, another thing you, you may want to pay attention to when you're buying, when you're selecting your new kite, especially control bar with the chicken loop, is uh, make sure that the pin is not that flexible. The, the pin, the bottom portion of it, the, the end, the tail of the chicken pin should be rigid. You see, the neck of the chicken pin, the part that is connecting the pin to the main system, is flexible, it flexes, okay? But the remaining part is stiff and firm. And another radical solution to, uh, to this phenomenon of uh, <laughs> foul hookup, foul hooking in, in kite surfing, is uh, try to use, try to get a hold of um, Fireball made by Cabrina. It's an alternative connection system, linking system altogether. It eliminates the chicken loop and chicken pin altogether, and the hook is modified also. So the Fireball system comes with the replacement for the chicken loop and with the spreader bar. Okay, pay attention, it may be pricey. You see, the fireball system was designed specifically to stay put no matter what you're doing. Okay, you can do some crazy stuff, you can do some stunts, some 360s, whatever, and uh, it should stay put, it should stay in its place. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Get out there, have fun, and be safe. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.